Uh, I'm with Ellen Egan from Egan Gardens. And Ellen, if any of the people have ever come to Garden Palooza, they know you are the Martha Washington lady. Yes. Really beautiful. I am the Martha Queen. I'm <laughs> hugging my Martha today. Uh, this is Martha Crystal Rose. Uh, Martha Washingtons are are geranium, mm -hmm. um, but they're really big, hunky. <laughs> yeah, the flowers are like the size of an azalea. Beautiful. They will bloom all summer. Um, sometimes they'll live through the winter. Oh, and they're sort of our signature plant. They are, but they have cousins. Aha, uh -huh. we like cousins. Zonal geraniums who at this point of their lives look a little younger, smaller, but they're gonna grow up to be big. Uh, they just look a little different from Martha. Their flowers are all in one big round head. Wonderful. They're about the easiest care plant you can put out. They can go out early in the spring. Okay. They'll keep blooming all summer, bloom through the fall. Like the Marthas, they will sometimes live through the winter. And so many different colors, both of them, both kinds, yeah. have so many different colors, so there's something for everybody. Yeah, reds, pinks, oranges, this screaming magenta with yeah. a little bit of orange Amazing. in the center. Um, some people have been having trouble with the geranium budworm mm. the last few years. It eats the flower buds, but there's an easy fix for that. BT um, is a biological control that just gets caterpillars, doesn't hurt bees or, mm -hmm. or um, ladybugs yeah, or any. Yeah. Or, or humans or dogs or cats. Yes, of course. So just a spray with the BT on the flower buds every 10 days and you won't have any trouble with the budworms eating your flowers. Oh, good tip, thank you. Yeah. And so you are you have so many lovely annuals at your place, but you also have, and you're bringing them today, is mm -hmm. different kind of other plants. So tell us about what else you're bringing. Yeah, well, I'll grab that. There, here, have a geranium. <laughs> um, Besides the annuals, we do a lot of perennials here, and there's some things that are just prime for Garden Palooza weekend. Nice. Um, this is GM Fireball, Whoa. just putting out its very first flowers, screaming orange, um, just the nicest GM I've ever seen. Very compact grower. You know, the old fashioned ones, the flowers just flopped over and right. fell on the ground, and then they quit blooming. These keep on blooming. The oh. flowers never flop. They're big, fat, double flowers, and that wonderful orange that just looks like sunshine. Beautiful. And for sun? Sunny yep. garden? Sun or half sun, half shade. Okay. Perfect. A lot of plants are more flexible than we give them credit for. I think so. For. Great idea. Yeah. And then, of course, with the orange, you need to Ooh, have blue. Look at that. But this is um, columbine or aquilegia, kirigami blue and white. And the kirigamis are a new series of columbines that keep blooming really well. Nice. Um, when they're all done with this flush of blooms, if that ever happens, you can chop them down, they'll regrow and bloom again. Wow. So you can have all summer color on these too. That's very new for columbines, because usually it's a spring flower, you're done and move mm -hmm. on. So yeah. very nice. They've even been more resistant to powdery mildew oh, than wonderful. other varieties we've tried. And then we have another one here. Yeah, behind that, you need some foliage contrast. These three would be a good combination together in a sunny bed. This is Hebe Amy. Very nice. Hebe, H-E-B-E, -E, weird name. Easy, easy. Um, but that purple foliage is there all year. It's actually like an evergreen shrub more than just a perennial. And it has brilliant, deep, rich purple flowers. Ooh, wow. It's funny, it can bloom different times of year. I've had it bloom in summer, had it bloom in winter, uh, fall. Whoa, and surprise. It'll, <laughs> it'll do more than one flush of blooms in a year. They'll end up about two feet tall and two feet wide, so they're a good backdrop plant to go behind the herbaceous ones that are gonna die down. Excellent, and then I see this lovely table of um, ferns, and so you have ferns today too. Yes, these are tropical ferns that would need to be in planters so they can come inside for the winter. We have a nice selection of them. Beautiful. Big, fat, make your own jungle kind of plants. <laughs> I love this. Look at that color on that one. White that variegated so one. Ah, well, while you're at Garden Palooza, you have to stop by and see Ellen Egan at Egan's Gardens. You have to have some of these beautiful per uh, perennials and a Martha Washington. So for more information, go to gardentime.tv and you can get all that information on how to get to Garden Palooza. Thanks so much. Thank you.